with this new Echoing Angels record, you're just gonna feel some great stuff. It's gonna be a soulful vibe. It's gonna groove amazingly. You're not gonna have to put your iPod on shuffle. You go straight through it from beginning to end and not wanna stop. So I'm, I'm watching this, I'm like, this is it. Cause I've been music fan all my life. This is what I'm supposed to do. I eat, sleep, and breathe and do everything with these guys. And they're my brothers and I love them and we keep each other accountable. It's a rally cry to stand up for something, stand up and say what you believe. And I want to go climb a mountain, stand on the top and beat my chest and say, I'm going to say what I believe. to write the lyrics, as we begin to just track this thing and record it, as I began to sing it, it was just pouring out. And what it was was our journey that we've been on these last two and a half years. And yes, it can be hard, yes, it can be brokenness through everything, but yet there's a hope. We want people to be encouraged by all of it. One of the reasons that this is self-titled is we want people to know, hey, we're Echoing Angels and we're excited about the future. Our big thing is relationships, and that I think that's transparent in us, whether it be on stage or whether it be at the merch table, we're going to be there. We think the ministry starts on stage, and that's our opportunity to get to know you a little bit, but ministry continues on to when we get to hang out with you after the show. Not just a one moment, thank you, and that's the end. It's an ongoing story together, and so it just builds and builds so that we can just all become just, just echoing angels together. We'll get you right there. Calvin Turner, the producer that we use for this record, who is now one of my brand new heroes. Uh, it's a crescendo. It's a giant crescendo. Because that sound is going to have this organic feeling. You're going to be able to feel a dynamic of every instrument. And that's the beauty of this thing. So I, I'm just excited. Yeah, cool. Sometimes you have to find time. You have to find those 15, 20 minutes because sometimes that's all you're allowed. To slip away and to recoup and to, and to be fed spiritually, sometimes you have to keep yourself in check. I think one thing that's really cool about this band live is that we're able to have that connection moment, the moments that are just very intimate moments, that we're not afraid to just strip everything raw and just really get down to it. Uh, the last couple years have been an amazing season. We're losing a record deal, we lost a manager, we lost a booking agency, and, and during that season it, it, it came to, you know, what are we really called to do? And now you look back and now we have a story to tell. And we feel like this album, this Echoing Angels album, is going to tell a story. Basically, it's a new band. We have, you know, a new people in the band. We have new people around us supporting us. We want to take all this new energy and the new writing we have and present that. And these guys are crazy. I mean, who wouldn't want to go on the road with these guys? I mean, there is not a dull moment on the road. <laughs> sat down and you've had a conversation with Echoing Angels. 